Animal agriculture, as we know, is particularly carbon intensive, as well as being the biggest cause of river pollution. Reducing or removing our reliance on eating meat and dairy products will be vital in tackling climate change. However, the huge farmers' protests which are currently paralysing the Netherlands show how important it is that our farming transition is just and as progressive as possible. Providing a basic income to the farming industry can provide them with the headroom and opportunity to diversify their business models in preparation for society which is less reliant on meat and dairy consumption. In Finland, technological leaps are being harnessed to turn bacteria and hydrogen into proteins which can then be used to make anything from milk and eggs through to lab-grown meat and fish, all done with no harm to animals. Tweaks to these proteins could produce lauric acid, which could bring an end to the use of highly destructive palm oil. Environmental author George Monbiot predicts that this technology will make the plant versus meat-based diets argument irrelevant. And with all manner of foods created in this cellular manner, these farm-free foods, as Monbiot calls them, could allow us to hand back vast ways of our land to nature, massively reduce pesticide use and end deforestation. And this is where the government comes in. If this technology is harnessed by the state and kept out of the hands of the private sector, it can provide affordable and abundant healthy food for humankind. Instead of simply subsidizing carbon intensive farming, we could provide a basic income and state owned green jobs to today's farmers to help them create the food of the future 